Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Saiyan 3D. Today we're going to be talking about how to start 3D printing in just five steps. So let's get started. Step number one, you're going to have to find a 3D file. Whether you're going to a website like Thingiverse or 3D Cult or Things.com, you're going to have to find a 3D model or create your own if you're more advanced. I recommend starting with finding one already made because it's a little more complicated to make your own 3D model. So you can go to any websites, I'll link those in the description below, and you find yourself a 3D model that you want to print, and go ahead and save that file, and we'll go on to step number two. Step number two, you're going to want to go ahead and download a slicing software, such as uh, Cura, Orca, Prusa Slicer, whichever one your printer recommends, go ahead and down that, download that slicer, and uh, then you're going to want to transfer your file into that slicer and go ahead and cut it up. And what that does is it transfers it into a G-code, which changes it into layers, so your printer knows how to print, pretty much. You'll be printing layer by layer. Now let's move on to step, right, step number three, preparing your printer. What you wanna do is save that file onto the USB card that came with your printer, and then you're gonna wanna transfer that over. But before you start printing, make sure your bed is leveled, your temperatures are set to the correct thing, uh, correct temperature for your filament and make sure your nozzle all that stuff is good your tubes are in everything like that everything on your printer is set up how it's supposed to in the instruction manual once that's done we'll move on to step number four step number four what you're going to want to do is insert that usb drive with your sd card into your printer and find the file underneath files in your printer once you've found your files, you're going to want to make sure your bed's clean and go ahead and hit print. And make sure that first layer is going down nice and tight against that bed and it's sticking with no peel up or anything like that. And the fifth and final step, because everybody who has 3D printed before knows that nothing comes out perfect, is post-processing. You might need to sand, you might need to fill, you might need to glue. That is the funnest part in my opinion. So if you're just getting started 3D printing, hopefully these steps, not too explain, but pretty simple, will help you get through these first steps. All right, everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.